We live in a world full of dangers. Many people live in fear that one day their home may be broken into, and some people are high profile and need extra protection. But these houses are so over the top, they will survive literally anything, from a concrete bunker built for a zombie apocalypse, to where Kim Jong-un hides out in case he ever gets nuked. Let's take a look at the most heavily guarded homes in the world. Zombie Safe House at some point, everyone has thought about what they would do in a zombie apocalypse. Many people assume this unlikely event will never happen, so they don't plan it. Some people get prepared with storable food and ammo, and others take it to ridiculous levels, such as this zombie bunker. This house was built by the company KWK. On the outside, it looks pretty dull, as it's simply a big concrete box. But really, it's much more than that. It's located in Poland. The two-story home is made with reinforced concrete. The house is totally closed off except for a reinforced door. This can be closed into a tight, monolithic block. There are windows, terraces, and balconies, but they can be closed too. There's also surveillance cameras all around this house. The interior of this house has an iron structure too. Some say this house is ugly, but I'm pretty sure you could grow plants over the concrete. The house even has an amazing foldable concrete drawbridge. The zombie bunker does look pretty off-putting and scary. But I guess that's useful as it's less inviting to any potential zombies. Believe it or not, the US government does actually have a military plan in case of a zombie apocalypse. And if that ever does happen, then I'm booking a one-way ticket to Poland. Indestructible House This house may look like the lair of an evil genius. But no, it belongs to a Harvard University professor and author. Eugene Tusi built what he calls the world's safest house. He built the home for his elderly parents. The entire house is very heavily guarded, and the design and materials make it disaster-proof. The ridges on the surface of the house cover up tubing. This allows hot air to flow around the house. The wrinkly surface also carries heat up and away from the house. This makes the house totally fireproof. There are also fins on the house. This will direct water and wind away from the doors and windows. This will prevent any storm damage or flooding. The most unusual thing is what this house is made of. It was built using Rastra. This is a special concrete blended with recyclable coffee cups. This will prevent termites, flooding, and fires. And it also insulates sound from getting in and out. The support structures of the house are made with Structro Light. This is a form of plaster which bends and flexes. This means in the event of an earthquake, the house will simply wobble around. Instead of being ripped out of the ground, it will just bend and move. Some say Eugene's house may be the future of homes in areas prone to natural disasters. This could protect many homes against wildfires, tsunamis, and earthquakes. And although this is expensive to make, it would save billions in property damage every year. Ryong Song Residence who is the world's biggest target? It's debatable, but many would say it's the North Korean Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un. His country is very feared, but also has many enemies. But if you're wondering where Kim lives, it's in the Ryongsong residence in North North Korea. It's one of the most secure fortresses slash castles in the world. It's in a very rural location surrounded by mountains which are occupied by lions. As well as the natural protections, Kim has also commissioned a lot of security around his house. This includes an electric fence, armed guards, and minefields. The walls also are reinforced with iron rods, and other walls are made of lead and covered in concrete. It's said that the walls of this house could even survive a nuclear blast. Given Kim's track record, that's probably a good idea. If Kim needs to make a quick getaway, there's a massive tunnel system under this house. This goes to his second home, the Chang Yong house. But it's unlikely anyone will get anywhere near this house even if they tried. Not only are there many natural obstacles, but there is so much security around the perimeter, no one is even getting a glimpse of Kim's house. Only a few photos of the house exist, and these have been smuggled to South Korea by North Korean guards. Atlas Missile Silo House there's probably nowhere safer to live than in a literal missile silo, right? After all, they're one of the most protected locations in the world. But no one would actually want to live underground like a mole, right? Well, that's not true, as one man in Saranac, New York, does this. On the surface, his house looks like a peaceful wooden cottage. 
but underneath is a massive Cold War era missile silo. Of course, the missiles are no longer in it. The house was built in 1960 and was the command center for the missile. When the owner bought the house, it already had many blast doors and control panels and he uses all of this bomb shelter tech to secure his home. It's also very hard to get to this house anyway as it's very secluded. In total the house is around 11 floors, but 10 of these are underground so you'll have to live like a mole most of the time. The house is so far away from everything else it even has its own airstrip and Cessna plane. You may be laughing now but when World War 3 hits I know where I'd want to be. Bill Gates's Mansion Bill Gates is one of the world's richest men. He made the technology company Microsoft. And he's also a divisive figure. Some like him a lot and others don't. That's why his house is one of the most secure in the world. He has electric fences and mines around his home. On one side of his house, there is a massive grove of trees. And on the other side, there's a body of water. He also has HD cameras all around the property. There are even heat detectors which can detect humans from over a mile away. He also has an anti-drone system around his home. This means if you try and fly a drone over Bill Gates' house, you're gonna lose it. It will simply fall out of the sky and be destroyed. The house cost a whopping $154 million. When Gates has guests to his house, they attend by boat with armed guards. And there are constantly security guards surrounding his estate. Corby Mansion the Corby residence is owned by security expert Al Corby. His home is like a luxury bunker and it's located in the Hollywood Hills. The house has no keys, instead they use biometric recognition software. The building has caissons of concrete which go 30 feet deep. This means it's impenetrable to earthquakes. There's also surveillance equipment that can spot an intruder one mile away. Al Corby calls the sleeping quarters the safe core. That's because it's a massive ballistics proof suite. Good luck trying to sneak into this home for a romantic surprise one night. Fairfield Estate the Hamptons in New York is where the richest Americans go. This is normally where they spend their summer vacations. But the Hamptons' most secure house is the Fairfield Estate. This belongs to the billionaire financier Ira Renard. The estate is worth $200 million. And inside is $500 million worth of paintings. That's why this estate is one of the most highly fortified places in the world. The security gate is very high tech. It only opens to people who are invited and have been scanned in. The house also has bulletproof windows, and it has security cameras which cover every single inch. It's believed that all of this security has cost him more than $50 million. So if you're planning on stealing his half a billion dollar art collection, I wouldn't bother. You won't get very far. Indian Creek Island if you're serious about security then buy a house on Indian Creek Island. This is a super secret and secure island in Miami, Florida. It's nicknamed the Billionaire Bunker. One plot on this island costs around $47 million. The properties have a 24-7 security force. They patrol the island with boats, jeeps, and jet skis. The island also has a super exclusive 18-hole golf course. And this is also guarded very heavily. Buckingham Palace The Queen is said to be one of the richest people in the world, so it's no wonder her security is insane. A few decades ago, someone did successfully break into Buckingham Palace. They sat in the Queen's bedroom and had a conversation with her. Since then, her house's security has been ramped up a lot. There are royal guards and navy guards outside the building all the time. These guards operate 24-7. And by the Victoria Memorial, there is a rumoured biometric security camera tracking everyone's face. White House one of the most powerful people in the world has to be the President of the United States. With the election in seven days, security will be increasing. The White House has a massive iron fence around it. There are also thousands of Secret Service guards around at all times. The White House is restricted airspace. This means only Marine Force One and Air Force One can go anywhere near it. If any other planes get near then, they'll be shot down. Underneath the White House is a secret bunker where the President can hide out. There are also radars and infrared sensors all around the White House. And the White House even has bulletproof windows too. But now it's time to make your voice heard. Comment below which was the most heavily guarded home on this list. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Zombie Apocalypse.
Fuß.